what's up y'all um let me start by saying yes this video was a uh, film way in the beginning like like i did a video on this before way in the beginning when i started my youtube channel but i'm gonna redo it for y'all especially since i got new subscribers and today's video if y'all can tell by the title is basically how to be confident with a disability um and this can be for anybody it's just some little tips and stuff that i try to practice for myself for being disabled Okay, the number one thing you want to do is self-talk okay when you have a disability talk to yourself tell yourself that you're beautiful or handsome you worthy you know you a lot of fun you just self-talk tell yourself how strong you are for you know get through this you know dealing with this what you're dealing with um how smart you are how far you've come in life you know just because you're sitting down it don't make you less attractive and just because you can't do everything that you want to do um physically you know with, with whatever your disability is it maybe it be physical it could be something else but um speaking from my experience y'all speak from my life but just because you can't do everything you want to do physically you still got to be thankful for what you uh the things you can do in the situation you are in you can't look to other people to tell you these things um you gotta look in the mirror and tell yourself the next tip i would give for somebody that's um, that's not confident with a disability is to don't compare yourself to others, okay? You don't know what the next person is going through. That person could be so torn up on the inside, you know, could be real ugly, and you end up comparing yourself to them and wishing you was like, can do what they can do or whatever you, you know, might be thinking. But you can't look at other people and compare your life because their situation could be way worse just because they're not in a wheelchair or whatever it is. So don't compare yourself to others. They might look all confident like they got it all together, but you know, people got their own issues deep down. Just like with these celebrities, y'all, they changing their appearance because they just simply not happy. All the money in the world, they can go anywhere in the world with all the money they got, do anything they want to do with all the money they got. They so bored that they want to change their nose, they, you know, lips and stuff, their bodies. Um, it's some men out there doing some working out to themselves too. Some of them celebrities, but yeah, don't compare yourself to others because you don't know what they really got going on or what they battling inside. My next tip would be to ignore the haters. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you gonna have haters no matter what. You might not even believe somebody may be uh, jealous or wish they was in your shoes because you you got a disability. And you don't want to think that a person is jealous of you in no way because I don't want nobody to be jealous of me. We all got our own lives, you know, our own things. You just gotta ignore the haters, y'all. Cause people gonna talk regardless. Just ignore the haters, do you? Cause they're not paying your bills. Another thing I like to do to you know stay confident is to pamper myself. Um, I don't got all the money in the world, y'all. I be wanting to get my hair done, but I can't afford to get my hair done. But guess what I do? Give me a wig. <laughs> yes, go get you a wig, girl. Go get you a wig, sis. To make myself look, you know, decent and feel pretty. If you're a man that's watching this, Get you a haircut. Get you lined up. I don't know. Whatever y'all be doing at the, you know, at the barbershop. Go on and get that. Okay? And men can go get y'all uh, the manicure, you know. Go on and get them nails cleaned up and shaped up, you know. Be looking right for the ladies, you know. Gotta be ready. Stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. But nah. Uh, <laughs> but nah. Um, I like to um, pamper myself on a budget to um, feel good about myself. Because when you look good, you feel good, you know. Um, you can take you some pictures, get dressed up nice, take you some pictures, you know, you know, just do something to make you feel good. So pamper yourself, nails, hair, uh, throw in an outfit, put some cologne on, some perfume, ladies, makeup, lip gloss, whatever, mascara, uh, whatever you got to do to make yourself feel good. Like I said, I do my press-ons, so, you know, have my nails done, fixed up, you know, just, I do budget-friendly things, okay? Some people might call me cheap. But I ain't cheap. I'm just thinking smart. Um, so, yeah, you can do some things, even if you can't afford to pamper yourself. There's some things you can do at home to make yourself feel good. All right, the next tip to being confident is keeping positive people around you. My friends, I have a good little group of friends. It's not a lot. And I feel like we uplift each other. My mama, that's my number one person. Uh, keep positive people around you that's going to love you, pray for you, uplift you your spirits tell you that you look nice even though you don't have to look to other people but it's good to have people around you that notice little things about you and like it make you feel good when they say 
you know, good stuff uh, about you to uplift your spirits and stuff and help you keep your, your self-esteem up. Even though you shouldn't look to other people, but it's good to have those positive people around who genuinely love and care for you and they want to see you win. Yeah, keep those people around you. The ones that's praying for you. Uh, yeah, just genuine love. The next tip I would say, y'all, is to accept your disability. Um, now, that may be hard for some, but this came to me to add this to my list when I was thinking, how can I change this list up from when I did it three years ago? It's not showing on my channel no more, but um, how can I change it up? Accept your disability, because if you don't accept it, you ain't confident. How anybody else going to take you seriously? They're going to walk all over you. They're going to... Some of them might just go ahead and put you on all the way down. <laughs> like, all the way down. So, accept your disability. Yeah, I'm in this wheelchair. But I'm beautiful. I'm smart. I'm not rich, but I'm blessed. I got my mama, a strong uh, woman who I love to death. I got my sister, my nephew. They healthy. They happy. We just doing, you know, what we got to do. It just takes some navigating. Like, it's been taking some, like, learning through this life to get... To like where I'm at now with my disability. And I think I done came to accept it more now that I'm like older. I'm in my 30s now. Um, yeah, I got to accept it because this this wheelchair don't define me. It's not the only thing that's to me. It's more to me. Like I just gave y'all a whole list of things that I like to do. You know, things I'm learning. You know, previous video. So make sure y'all go watch those videos. If you are a person who is... um dating or looking to date like you're single you want somebody you gotta accept your disability before somebody else can you know what i'm saying because the person that come along gonna accept you too you know it's more to life than just your struggles your disability another thing that's helping me be confident drinking my water minding my business <laughs> um getting me some rest um i've been working on my skin y'all but y'all do better with my water intake because that's one of the things that i've dealt with since I was young, it's like acne and stuff. And even still, I deal with that here and there. Especially when it's that time of the month, you know? So, drinking plenty of water to keep my skin looking nice. Because I want to be beautiful. I don't want to have to wear makeup. I won't say need it because nobody needs it. It's a choice. So, I don't want to be one of those people who wear makeup. I want to do the simple lip gloss. Like now, this is good lighting. My skin probably don't look that bad. But looks can be deceiving. Y'all ain't up and close and personal now. Not too close. I mean, y'all is, but y'all ain't. But, yeah. I'm trying to, you know, drink more water. Get your rest. And I noticed when I was been drinking more water, my body feels so much more alive. And the reason I don't think I was drinking enough water in the first place, because I got to go to the bathroom a lot, and I need help. So I'm asking for help all day if I'm drinking up so much water. But to get that clear skin, and it's good for your health anyways, flushing your kidneys out your body out, you got to drink water. So... Drink your water, get your breath, mind your business. Because if you in other drama and people's business, that's just going to be more stress on you. You thinking about their problems, giving advice and helping them. And they, don't even gonna, they ain't even going to appreciate it. And, and somehow, you're going to say something they don't like and they're going to switch it all on you. But yeah, so yeah, drink your water, mind your business, get you some sleep and you'll be good, y'all. <laughs> nah, but that's all for this video. Um, some tips and how you can be more confident with a disability. I hope I'm not forgetting and I'll be trying to think while I'm filming these videos. But um, yeah, um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank y'all for watching and y'all stay tuned for more videos. Bye y'all. <laughs>